Hi guys, Steve from Walker's Hunting channel here. Um, thanks for, for popping by. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, and my subscribers have gone up to 110 now. Whoop, whoop. I've only been doing this a short period of time, about a year and a half, two years. Um, haven't had the time really recently to do much. So I'm now not working until after Christmas. So I've got some time on my hands. So just a quick review of the Stoga XM1 ballpark. I've owned this for nine months now. Um, it's a 177 sub 12 foot pounds. Um, it is including my Huggett Atom um, silencer there, just under 31 inches or 800 mil. Um, so it does fit into a nice little bag that you can buy from eBay, um, and it's a nice small little rifle to carry around. Um, ergonomics are great. I love the handle on the front. I didn't when I first bought it, um, but that's grown on me, and I've left it on there. Um, cocking handle works really well for follow-up shots. Um, you have a nice little bracket on the front there that holds your um, 10 shot or 11 shot, yeah, 11 shot in 177 magazine. Um, I've actually fitted an aftermarket 3D printed bracket just to raise up and turn 90 degrees the Picatinny rail so I can add a scope cam on there when I'm not using the PAR DS35. Um, Accuracy of the rifle, um, it took me quite some time, if you look back on my videos you'll see a, a little short video of me doing the pellet testing and I did a lot of pellet testing before I found that the QYS 9.56 domed pellets, uh, 9.56 grain domed pellets were the ones to use. It does group under your thumbnail now, five shots um, or a five pence piece, which is accurate enough for me to hunt with it, which is what I pre predominantly do. I'm not a target shooter, um, and it's perfect little size rifle to carry around the woods, um, stalking um, your pigeons, squirrels, or whatever it is that you're after. It's a good little ratting gun too. Um, it did drop off power. Um, it was only 10.6 foot pounds when I bought it. Uh, I chronoed it when I got it. I thought I'll go with that and just see how we get on. After a couple of months, it did drop down to nine, or just 9.5, I think, when I took it back to the shop. It was in warranty, so why not take it back to the shop and get it as it should be. Um, so I took it back to Bromsgrove Shooting Supplies in Bromsgrove. Spot on service. They sent it straight back to the supplier. They fixed it. I believe it was the hammer spring, uh, as does happen on new rifles. The hammer spring tension um, can, can back off. Uh, so they, they replaced that, and it's come back at 11.7 foot-pounds now. So um, quarry I've took with it. Rabbits, I had my longest kill with a rabbit at 73 yards with this, which I think may be a total fluke, but I did take a rabbit out at 73 yards. Uh, and that's when it was 10.6 foot pounds. Um, and yeah, I, I've taken lots lots of squirrels. Um, I've done a ratting session with it, which is on, which is actually, a, there's a video of it, but I didn't have this scope on at the time. And I had the, the PAR 007 and the footage failed. So you can't see much footage with this particular rifle at the time but I'm going to amend that in the future uh, I've got a few bit of time off now so I'm going to get this little one out in the field and take out some quarry with it um, yeah just a cracking little rifle 50 or 60 shots per fill uh, any questions you want to ask about it just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you but nine months of ownership of the Stoger XM1 um, yeah I'm pleased with it for a 500 pound budget gun